Hey everybody, it's me, Amanda. So I wanted to take a moment and come on and apologize for my lack thereof of videos. I've been apologizing for the last couple of videos as a lack thereof, and you know, not trying to give an excuse. I've just been pretty lazy, and I've been sick. But hey, anyway. So I know it's not quite March. I know February is not quite over. However, instead of calling this a February favorites, I think I'm just going to start calling them a "What I'm Loving Now" video because sometimes I get in the mood to film these videos of products that I really love and like I don't know I just kind of get into the not you know sometimes it comes like now it's the 22nd I think no it's 23rd sorry I had to look at my calendar but there's stuff that I got and I could tell that I love and I want to tell you guys about so without further ado let's get on to products I'm loving now Alright, so the first thing I have to say is this is like the cutest thing ever. Um, a friend of mine gave me this Valentine and y'all know I'm obsessed with Twilight. But basically it's, it's a Twilight Valentine card and it says, um, whoever said a good man is hard to find. And there's Jacob and Bella and um, Edward. Sure hasn't been to Fort Washington. And then it talks. that my best friend gave me that I thought it was like a cute joke but hey anyway so it was a cute little Valentine all right so the first thing I'm like obsessed with loving has been the Satsuma body butter by the body shop oh my god you guys this stuff I love it love 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 it it is totally 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 awesome it um smells like tangerines and um, I love to use this honestly my feet get so dry in the winter time I just take a little bit like that and I'll just rub it on my cracked heels and ankles and just right before I go to bed it's just it's so awesome it smells really good it's really like a summery fresh tangerine citrus smell so if you love citrus smells this is awesome um this next thing I cannot rave enough about. I love it. And it is the Sigma F80. It's a flat top kabuki brush. And mine is dirty because I've been using it. I gotta clean it. But it is so soft, you guys. Oh my god. When you put your makeup on with this brush, it's just so freaking soft. So I am really interested in getting the other two Sigmax brushes. Um, but I probably in the long run will be a better deal for me to just order all three brushes in the Sigmax set because they're $60 a piece um, or you can get all three brushes for I think it's 50 I'll have to check the price but yeah it's the Sigma F80 if it will focus what's it called flat top synthetic kabuki I love it for this next product, which I love, 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 love. It's my new foundation that I've been using, and it is the MAC Mineralized Foundation um, in the cream. And I'm in the color NC20. Yeah. So there it is. And it looks nasty because, you know, obviously I use it. But it's like a cream, liquidy cream foundation in a compact. And this works so good with it. It does not shed. It picks up just the amount of, right amount of product, and it just, you just, it's just love, love, love. Anyway, okay, so the next thing is um, a blush that I love. I've been using a lot lately. If I can get it, hold on, the little paper fell. It's NARS. Um, It's NARS blush in Exhibit A, and it's just like a brick red blush. It's coming off very orange on camera, but it is red. It's, oh, I, I just love it. I love NARS blushes in particular, just in general, because, I mean, they're super, 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 super duper pigmented. I mean, you get a lot of bang for your buck with NARS. I just love it. Love, 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 love. 
Uh, the next blush I have been using a lot has been the Physician's Formula Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in the color Natural. Um, if you can see that. And it's the one that has like all the hearts and stuff on it. Um, I like this one a whole lot more than um, I have the other one. I have to get it. Um, this is the one in Rose, I think it's called. Yeah. I bought them both because they're so super cute. So this is the difference. This is the natural and this is the rose. Obviously the rose is more pink. But yeah, they're they're both really pretty, but I like this one just a little bit better. Um, another blush, because I've just been obsessed with blushes. This is the Milani Minerals blush in the color Mai Tai. And it's just kind of like a corally, bl corally blush. And the little brush fell out. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I don't ever use those little brushes. I don't know why I even buy them. Excuse me. I'm having like sinus crap, so excuse me if I sound like crap. Which brings me to my last favorite thing, sinus spray. I have been obsessed with this stuff. It's the only way I've been able to breathe lately. So yeah. Okay, so I feel like I'm rushing. I really need to stop. They do allow you to go over 15 minutes now, Amanda. Anyway, um, the next thing has been my MAC 129, which is just like a blush brush. I have been back and forth for over a year about this brush. I'm like, do I really need it? You know, I have the Sigma 160. This is the Sigma SS168. You know, I've got plenty of powder brushes. I've got the 109. I've got the e.l.f. blush brush. I've got all these, you know, brushes from, you know, Berry Essentials and crap. And I was like, do I really need that MAC 129? Do I really, really need it? And I really just... One day said, you know what, I want it, I'm buying it, and I bought it, and I cannot tell you how amazing and how awesome I love it. It just applies the right amount of blush, especially with blushes like Exhibit A, which is very pigmented, and I'll show you. Like, literally, I don't know if it's the combination of the blush or if it's whatnot, but watch this. I'll just literally, watch, just pick it up and look on the brush. See how much... And that's like uh, actually a lot for that watch. And here I'll just blend it out so it'll swatch out a little bit for. So that's kind of exhibit A if you blend it a little bit better and you put it with the right tool in the right hand. So it just it picks up the perfect amount. It blends so beautifully. I just love that brush with blush. It's just awesome. Period. All right, so I'm gonna kind of add in a couple of things here. This is a Sally Hansen eyelash curler. Um, it's okay, I like it. Okay, um, I don't think my eyelashes are long enough to actually get a, a, a very noticeable difference in a curl, but I like them. Uh, it works pretty good. I like the you have the little uh, what you call it string here at the bottom that holds this together. Bleh. So, okay. I'm trying to put stuff back as I talk about it so that I don't have to like dump stuff out everywhere. Alright, so the next thing is a, uh, it's the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. Um, it's for cuticles and calluses. You put it on in your cuticles, you let it rest like 15 seconds, and then you use, um, I just use a little cuticle pusher here, and just clean up around the nail bed, and then you're supposed to wash your hands. I like it. Um, it does. No, it, I do see a difference. I don't know if it's any better than others, but it's really good. I like it a lot. Um, it's pretty cheap. You can get it at the drugstore. I think I got this at Walmart. It's like four bucks. So this last, these last two items are recent, but I'm telling you, um, like literally, I just got them in a in the mail yesterday in a black box. And I've only used them today, and I've used them once, and I know that they're favorites. They're just flipping awesome. One is an eyeliner. This is an Icole pencil in Prunella. If you guys follow Michelle1218, she wears this a lot, and I adore her, and I wanted... It's it's like a blackened plum. Um, I will say, I don't know how... There's like a swatch. I don't know if you can tell the plum part of it. Because, see, look at it next to the the swatch on the end of the stick. I don't know. 
Um, I have been told that it's very similar to, to Deep Diversion Fluid Line. If you got Deep Diversion, I think it's what's called Deep Diversion Fluid Line from this last collection. So I don't know if you kind of need both. I prefer my eyeliner in a pencil form. Um, I have gel liner. I think I have a, a plum gel liner. Let me look. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Ain't that bad? I don't know what I have, but this is this is like a purple gel liner that I have. Um, I don't. It's obviously this is way more purple. This is way more black and plum. But you know, I'm not really huge. I mean, I like gel liners, but I you know when you're, I just use pencil liner more because it, you know, wham bam, thank you, ma'am, out the door. So yeah, Prunella love. Next thing, once again is a blush. I have been a blush junkie this month, you guys. And like I used it this morning and I took it out and put it back in the box because I was going to do a haul video for you, a black box haul. But there really wasn't that much. It's not that great of a big haul, so I just, you know, the dog's scratching at the door. Let me call that man. So now I'm back. So yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, the last kind of makeup related item is going to be um, a MAC blush and this is a powder blush in a color margin and it's like that and I love it guys. I wore it today. It's what I have on. Um, there's kind of a swatch on my finger right there if it'll focus and then I'll this is it right here it's so freaking pretty. Oh my god, you guys. I just... I love it. It's really shimmery, so if you are if you don't like shimmer, you may not like this one. But, um, I love it. I think it's awesome. And just to include it, because if you ask what else I got in my little black box, I got Carbon Eyeshadow and another bottle of Fix Plus. Because Fix Plus is love. I lied. There's one more makeup item. I have been loving my MAC... This is another Cold Power Eye Pencil in the color Orpheus, which is like a gold, which is like a golden brown. There it is right there, the top one, next to Prunella. I love, love, love. The only thing I don't like about these things, um, I feel like they're so pretty in the pencil, but they don't look anything like that, but anyway. Oh, and let me get back to this. So this is the um, Pond's Deep Cleanser and Makeup Remover. This is also a favorite. It's pretty awesome. I'll show you. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of my hand and put it on the back of my hand. And you guys see I have those two um, eyeliner swatches. Just going to rub it on the back of my hand. I'm just going to take some paper towel. Just paper towel. And look, totally clean. You can still see a little remnants of the eyeliner, but totally clean. This stuff is love. It takes off mascara. It takes off all that dirty, greedy crap at the end of the day. It's flipping awesome. All right, so the last favorite this month, or last, I don't know, I shouldn't, shouldn't call them favorites. The last thing I'm loving. I recently, if you guys, if you've seen the preview for the movie, um, there's a movie coming out um, with Alex Pettifer and Vanessa Hudgens, and it's called I. Um, I'm telling you about I Am Number Four, which also is a favorite because I went and see it. I went, I went and saw it. Blew. I went and saw it uh, last Friday with Dinah Agron from Glee and Alex Pettifer, who actually is her real life boyfriend. Lucky dog. Anyway, it was really, really good. And I Am Number Four is based on a book. Um, I haven't read the book, but um, I probably will, you know, investigate it and see if it's worth reading. But anyway, Alex Pettifer's next movie that's fixing to come out is with Vanessa Hudgens, and it's called Beastly. And I was doing some research on it because it looks like a kind of interesting movie. Because um, it's like a modern day tale telling of Beauty and the Beast. And I found out it was a book. So I went and I bought it. It was like nine bucks at, um, it's like $8.99 at um, Barnes Noble's where I got it. And um, so far it's actually really, really good. Um, I mean, this video, this, this book is kind of weird because I've read this much of it so far, but there's like parts. So like, like, okay, for instance, 
in the beginning of the book, like, it has these pages that are set like a chat window on the internet, and it's, you know, different people... Sorry, my phone says let's go devils when I get a text message. Do I have a te I have a text message from somebody. Oh, that's Lola. Anyway. <clears throat> so, like, Mr. Anderson is, like, the chat moderator. And there's, like, Beast NYC, which I guess is his character. There's a character called Silent May, which is kind of like the Little Mermaid. Um, then there's one called Frog. Frogger, Froggy, which is like the Frog Prince, and they just basically talk about their different curses and whatnot. The other, and then like the first part of the book is like his life before he became a beast. It's like a prince and a witch, so it's like his life um, before he became a beast, and then the next part's like what ha what happens when he first becomes a beast, and then I guess the next part. I haven't got that far yet, but I'm in like the third part, I think, in the third chapter of the third part. So yeah, this is all in all so far, it's a pretty good book for nine bucks. Um, so I do highly recommend that if you want to go out and check it out. Um, I guess that's it, guys. Other than the obvious, which has been my iPod, I have been loving my iPod lately. And let me tell you guys, I, I, do you guys have this thing? Okay, if you're a fan of Glee. Let me ask you this. For instance, like, look. Okay, as you can see, I was listening to it, and I'm listening to Glee the Music Volume 4. Currently, Teenage Dream, because, I mean, hello, Blaine is a, a dream himself. But anyway, whenever Glee covers a song, and then I hear the, like, original version of the song, I kind of always am like, eh, meh, it's not as good as the Glee one. I love the Glee covers of songs so much better than originals. Am I the only one? And anyway, oh, last favorite. It was Valentine's Day, so I have to include this. It has been, like, Hershey Kisses. Um, this is my Honey Duke's jar from Harry Potter that I got on vacation. I just filled it with little Valentine's Day kisses. And then the Hershey's Bliss candies, like, in the shapes of hearts. Oh, my God, you guys. These Hershey's Bliss candies are so good. They're like little hearts and little foil. Yeah. Okay, so enough of that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to edit this video for you guys real quick, and I'll put it up. And hopefully you guys uh, won't mind seeing a favorites video, even though it's technically not a favorites. It's a things I'm loving video, but hopefully you don't mind. I'll talk to you guys later. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. Um, follow me on Twitter. Uh, and I think that's it. Bye.